Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am KD. Today, I'm going to show you how the preview of the printer is being calculated by following the steps and procedures set by the ISO. Most of the time, we hear from the salespersons how much a printer can print. After we brought the printer back and tried it out ourselves, we end up questioning the accuracy of the print new number given by the printer's manufacturer. Why are the print new of the inks being lesser in actual printing? How does the printer manufacturer know how much does the ink can print? So, I decided to find out the answers and did some research on it. Generally, the print yield is being tested with two different types of ISO standard. The first one is based on the ISO 19752. This is a standard to test out the black cartridge preview of the printer. This is the preview document that I downloaded from the ISO website. In this ISO document, you will see the contents under the page number 3. It will let you know what is the test parameters and conditions for testing the preview of the printer. Similar for the color cartridges, it has another standard called the ISO IEC 24712. The test chart for the color cartridge basically comes with five pages. It consists of one page of PDF document and then one page of the Excel document with a chart, a colorful chart. The third one will be a Microsoft Word. Fourth one will be a PowerPoint. And the last page will be a diagnostic page. So with all the pages over here, it will continuous print until the ink depletion or the color faded. Then that will be the print new estimation for the printer itself. Generally, when the ISO that designed the template, it is based on 5% print coverage. While for the color test chart, you can see there are five different pages. When the International Standard Organization designed this test chart for the color cartridge, these documents, when they calculated it, the color usage will be roughly similar for all the pages. Let's say the black color, the cyan, magenta, and also the yellow color, it will use equal amount of the ink in order to finish print this test chart. Let me turn the printer to the front here so that I can see when I change the cartridge. So this is a new cartridge. You can see now I will need to tear, tear it open. I will need to tear it open in order to take out the new cartridge. Okay, so this is how I change the new cartridge to the printer. Okay, so I have installed the new ink. And also, I loaded in some paper here. In case if later the paper runs out, I will put in some new paper into the paper tray. Let us test out the color cartridge printing. So here on my PC, you see this is the ISO IEC 24712 test chart for color printing. So it consists of five pages like I mentioned earlier on. So with this test chart, I will go to select file print 
and then I select the printer E four five seven O. This is a E four five O series printer with the test chart. Let me check the setting. So for the setting, basically I will keep it to the plain paper. It is using plain paper, and then according to the ISO standard, it should be A four paper, and also the print quality under standard mode. Okay, so these are the criteria, the main criteria that I mentioned in the ISO standard. Once the setting is checked, now I can proceed to print out the document. Okay, so the print job now is sent to the printer. Now the printer is going to print out the test chart. At the meantime, I will check, I will monitor on the paper uh, quantity, and then I will keep. Loading new paper to the printer to continue the testing. So this is 180 prints, 50, 50, and another 50. Then this one, the stack is 30. So this is 180 prints. According to Canon website. The color printing can print up to 180, which I see here the printer is able to do according to the ISO standard. I follow the procedure given by the ISO, so 180, no, no issue. So this is how it looks like, 180 prints with the same set of cartridges. So now it is printing more than 180. I can see here the color is still sharp, the color is still sharp. With one set of ink, one set of cartridge, the color printing can go up to 180 for sure. Now, for my testing, it goes up to 200 already. My testing here, uh, with the same set of cartridges, it prints up to 200 prints already. And uh, I believe the printer is still able to print extra additional uh, few more pages probably. Now, the next one, I will install another new set of ink to test out the black color cartridge printing. Next, I will install a new set of ink to the printer and test out the black document printing. See whether it can go up to 400 prints as per the Canon website mentioned. So this is a new set of cartridge. You can see the orange seal is still attached with the cartridge. Okay, so let me take this off. And then the black color cartridge. Take this out. Still with the orange seal. I will open up the test chart from the ISO. This is the test chart for the ISO IEC19752. You can see on the screen here. I'm going to print this document to the printer using the new set of ink I installed. Let me press the print button and see whether the printer can achieve this or not. Hope you can see this. Uh, I will zoom the camera in so that you can see the document quality and also the print view. Uh, how many? How much page is uh, doing from the screen over here? So this is the total of four hundred prints. And with the last one, it will make this whole stack as 400 prints with one set of cartridges, one set of uh, cartridges for the black ink printing. Now it's doing more than 400 prints. Currently it's under the low black ink level, but it's still continue printing. If you compare with the previous one, the quality looks alike. The cartridge still have some inks left to continue Printing is able to print up to 400 prints, which is uh, advertised on Canon website. The PG47 ink is able to print up to 400 prints of A4 document, and these documents are all 5% print coverage. These are all 5% print coverage. 
It might be more or less, it depends on what you print and also what type of paper you are using. That's all for my testing today. If you like this type of video, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. And it's still printing.